Hello, hello, welcome to this channel. My name is Wanda. Hi. In today's video, I will be testing out this static window cling film. What that means is I'll be doing a sun catcher with this material. I will also be using this colorful pearl adhesive vinyl in black. And with that being said, let's open this package up and see how this feels. So this is a clear film. It says it's Sun Catcher 5 feet static window cling film. What I like to do is normally I'll save this piece right here so that that way I know what color or what vinyl I have. Before I start cutting this roll, let's head over to Design Space and see what kind of sun catcher we can make. Let's start off by clicking on New Project, Blank Canvas, Upload, and now let's just look for our image. If you don't find it here, then go over to where it says View All and click on that. And then just scroll down till you find the image you want. Once you have it, click on it, Add to Canvas, and then go down to where it says view and click on that. So here we have some images. I'll be ungrouping it so I can delete two of them and just make one. I think I want to do the ladybug. So let's delete these two and keep this one. Let's keep that size since it's a good size to make a sun catcher. I will not be saving this. Let's click on mat since I'll use a mat. Continue. And here we have it. Right here we have two mats, which means that the white mat is going to be our window cling. That leaves a black mat, which will be our image, the one we'll be putting on top of our window cling. Click on continue. And now you just choose the material you need to cut. Click on browse all. And now just on your search bar, write stencil film 0.4 mm and then done that's the one i will be using to cut my material click on the pressure you'll get a drop box and click on more now just head over to your machine and place the mat so it can start cutting your material now what i'll do is just open the roll so i can measure and cut the amount i need you want to make sure to measure correctly so you don't waste any material. I'll be cutting 5 inches wide and 4 inches height in this material. And I'll just save the rest for another project. Once I'm done cutting this material, I'll just place it on a mat. I'll be using a purple mat or a strong grip mat. I was not sure what kind of mat to use for this material since this is the first time I'll be using it. Since it's plastic, I figure I should use a strong grip mat. This is a new mat, so it is very sticky. As to the material, it's got some texture to it, so the texture side I'll put facing up. I also want to mention that this material also has a cover sheet that's clear. Make sure to take this one off. And now let's head over to the machine and start cutting. All right. So now to remove this off the mat, I had a little bit of a problem. Since this mat was a new mat, it was sticking pretty hard to this. So when I pulled it up, I had some sticky on the window cling. That was not fun. So I left this clip in here so that you can see and not do what I did. If you can see, I'm struggling a little bit to get this off of my mat. So if you wanna learn how to mess up your new mat, then follow this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What I ended up doing was putting it on a green mat and recutting this material again since it still had some sticky on it all right let's start over so i'll be placing this material on a green 
Tech Standard Matte. Remember the texture side goes up. All right, now that we've cut it, let's see if we ran into the same problem. This was much easier to get off the mat and there is no sticky on it. So make sure to use the green mat. If you can see, this one's got some sticky on it. This one doesn't. So I learned the hard way. But I want to make sure you don't run into the same problem. Now to cut our material, click on browse all material and on the search bar type in premium outdoor vinyl. That is the setting I'll be using to cut this material, which worked for me really good. As to the weeding for this material, it was really smooth. As for transfer tape, I'll be using this tech wrap transfer tape. Although this vinyl has a little bit of a texture and they do recommend you use the yellow grid tape, I'll be using this black one since I'll be layering this on top of a window cling and I don't want to run into any more problems. My technique is to fold a little piece of the backing of the transfer tape and then start placing your transfer tape over the vinyl. Once you have a small piece of the transfer tape over your vinyl, grab a squeegee and then just slide down. This will help make it much easier to remove the backing of the transfer tape. Just go nice and slow so you don't get any air bubbles in there. And now I'll just measure both things to make sure I have enough space and it's cut properly. To help me place the vinyl over the window cling, I'll be using parchment paper. This will help so that it doesn't stick directly to the window cling material. But first, let's remove the carrier sheet from our vinyl. Just go very slowly and if you have to push down to get something to stick on the transfer tape then do so. You can also use a squeegee. I did burnish this a couple of times just to make sure I did not run into any problems. And as you can see it's going pretty smooth. I did have to push down a few times, but it did stick on there. Now let's get our parchment paper over this. Make sure to leave a small piece peeking. That'll help you align better. Make sure to align it on the side that's not textured. And after aligning it to the window cling and the design, start removing the parchment paper slowly and letting the transfer tape fall on top of the window cling. I promise you it's much easier than it looks and it turned out this way. After fixing my problem, I do recommend this film. It was pretty easy to work with and cut through. And this is how it looks outside. It is beautiful. Overall, I have to say this was a fun project. If you watched to the end and you like this video, don't forget to give us a like. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye bye.